Thank you. A former beauty queen is suing the L.A. Sheriff's Department in a raid gone wrong. She says she was woken up by gun-toting deputies and forced out of bed in the buff. CBS 2's Christy Fajardo has details on the lawsuit and reaction from the Sheriff's Department. Just 23 years old. In the meantime, there is new help for the hospitalized survivors of that attack. CBS 2's Teresa Garcia has the day's developments in Aurora, Colorado. Welcome back to CBS 2 News at 5. I'm Paul Major. And I'm Sharon Tay in for Pat Harvey. Gay rights activists are targeting the fast food chain after its top executive spoke out against gay marriage. Space exploration has always been inspiring, and the new mission to Mars is no different. And here's a new video that's getting people pumped up for the landing. It's called Seven Minutes of Terror. CBS 2's Bill Whitaker gives us a look. In today's Eye on Entertainment, a Big Brother contestant is arrested uh, and a film's release is being pushed back after the deadly theater massacre. But first, see. Well, it's a hilarious video that's gone viral on the World Wide Web and it stars nothing but a small dog and a baby gate. That's right. But hey. adorable. Mm -hmm. That's it for us here at 5 o'clock. I'm Sharon Tay. And I'm Paul Major. <laughs> CBS 2 News at 6 starts right now. Good evening, I'm Rick Garcia. And I'm Sharon Tay. Michael Jackson's mother, Catherine, is back in California tonight dealing with a family feud on home turf. And the private family drama continues to be played out on the airwaves and in social media. KCAL Night's Melissa McCarty looks at the latest developments in the custody battle for the late pop star's children. The park that may one day be LA's version of New York Central Park made its debut today. A portion of Grand Park is now open. KCAL 9's Dave Lopez gives us a close-up look at what could be the centerpiece of a revitalized downtown LA. Thousands of kids in the Inland Empire are, ex are excited to get back to the books now that they have backpacks loaded with school supplies. Just remembering, uh, what was your back-to-school lunchbox? Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. I think for me it was I think yeah, the monkeys Wonder and Scooby-Doo. Yeah, uh, right. Scooby-Doo. <laughs> time, oh, time not to take a look ahead at the top <laughs> of the hour. In tonight's Dine on a Dime, we are checking out Dine LA Restaurant Week. Hundreds of restaurants are participating, and as our Suzanne Marquez reports, it allows you to try a new spot for a fraction of the normal price. The Plain Jane Bandit is on the run, and now there is a $10,000 reward for her arrest and conviction. On what would have been Samantha Runyon's 16th birthday, several law enforcement agencies are teaming up on a program to protect children from harm. Runyon was kidnapped and killed 10 years ago in Orange County. The, the tenant sprayed smokers with water to make a point, but the court says he was a nuisance. KCAL 9's Christine Lazar explains the family is packing up while planning the next move. Not too long ago, Evelyn and I had our garage sale. Mm -hmm. yeah. People arrived at, I kid you not, like 5 a.m. It was very wow. early. And yeah, we said no early bird. Stepping up in Miami and a neighborhood gets some supernatural prying eyes. The Insider's Kevin Frazier has tonight's Nine on Entertainment. Tonight, Republican presidential candidate Mitt Romney's backing away from negative comments about Britain's preparations for the London Olympics. Romney is in London to meet with British leaders to raise money and attend the opening ceremonies tomorrow night. KCAL 9's Tara Merchner shows us uh, what the candidate said to rile his British hosts. The widows of two Israeli athletes killed at the 72 Olympics in Munich are calling on pro or spectators rather at the London Games to protest during tomorrow's opening ceremony. A show of defiance this morning from a San Fernando City Councilwoman facing criminal charges. It all stems from an affair with a fellow councilman. KCAL 9's Cara Finstrom reports on a real-life soap opera at City Hall. Join us for these stories and so much more just ahead on KCAL 9 News at 10 o'clock. We hope to see you then. And still ahead here at 9, a crackdown around the country. Today, federal authorities announced the results of a nationwide drug sweep targeting makers, users, and distributors of so-called synthetic drugs. KCAL 9's Edward Lawrence says the sweep was called Operation Longjam. Amanda, thank you. Bullets fly inside a busy 7-Eleven store. That place was packed when a robber pulled out a gun. KCAL 9's Rachel Kim is live in Hawthorne. Pomona Hospital accused of using patients for a secret research project tonight. A lawsuit claims surgeons at Pomona Valley Medical Center performed an experimental procedure on patients without their consent. KCAL 9's Amy Johnson is live in Pomona. I'm not guilty and I'm not going to quit. The words of San Fernando City Councilwoman Maribel De La Torre outside a courthouse today. The opening of a new Chick-fil-A in Laguna Hills came with a healthy serving of controversy. Curi Curiosity is a nice piece of machine. It's uh, did cool you, looking, isn't it? Did you see all that stainless steel and polished nickel? I didn't, wasn't paying attention to the detail, I but I, I thought overall it was very cool. Yeah. yeah. A one-time beauty queen is forced out of her bed naked with guns. 
A former Miss Nevada has filed a lawsuit against the L.A. County Sheriff's Department. She says during a raid, she was forced out of bed naked at gunpoint while deputies watched. Well, it turns out they busted into the wrong apartment. KCAL 9's Christy Fajardo explains. I've tried that place. It's wonderful. Is it good? Yeah. So yummy. Mm -mm -mm. Tapas. I like it. Tapas. tapas. Uh, weekend's right around the corner. Oh, I mean, yes. I'm, I'm considering it basically here. I've just declared. Have yep. you? Uh, I have. <laughs> <laughs> so, Evelyn, what's our weekend? <laughs> He's got big attitude. <laughs> yeah, they do. Thank you yeah. so much for watching KCAL 9 News at 10. Sports Central starts right now.